the locations are really important and the design team every time we arrived on set in the morning um, most of us were floored with what we saw because they created this amazing world we shot in Edinburgh to start off with with this amazing grand architecture um, but a, a really important moment for me was when we arrived in Keithley which was about three weeks into filming um, and I finally saw the mill and this is the, the, you know, his empire um, and it had a profound effect on me which I wasn't I wasn't actually aware of it at the time but it it um, it really um, I kind of grew about two inches I think so um, that was a very important moment for me and proof that the, the location has a, a, an enormous effect on the, uh, the character. I've got three, I think I've got three favourite moments. Um, watching the, the piece um, visually, I, I, my favourite moment, I think, is the scene where she leaves in the carriage. Um, they created, they filled the, the, um, the mill courtyard with snow and there's the solitary carriage in the middle and um, um, Margaret gets into the carriage to leave and to to act that was not difficult because uh, you know I felt the sense of loss of her leaving so that was a very important moment um, I think the proposal scene purely because um, it was I think it's one of the longest scenes to play but but it was the, the opportunity for both of us to really you know um, stretch our kind of acting legs and it was that was a very satisfying scene to film and then um, I think the final scene at the station, the, 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 um, you know, the climax of the piece, was, uh, that was a very nice way to spend an afternoon. A funny moment for, uh, during the filming was um, the scene when, uh, during the riot scene, when um, Margaret has to get hit with a stone. So the art department had very brilliantly made um, a rubber brick which was the size of a boulder. Um, and they started to sort of rehearse the scene and someone pointed out that if, if that actually was going to be thrown at her head, her head would probably come off. So they had to, um, they had to sort of reduce the size of this, this brick to like a little sort of rubber stone, obviously, because you can't throw stones at people. Um, and the, um, the grip was the, the guy that had been put in charge of aiming and, and trying to hit her. So um, throughout, the, they'd done it on handheld, so um, there's the Steve kind of really trying to capture it with a, you know, a lot of motion. And um, you've got the grip kind of aiming to try and hit Daniela on the head. Um, we, it took about 10 takes. Um, it hit me in the face, but every time um, the stone sort of flew, Daniela dropped to the ground, regardless of whether it hit her or not. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously everyone keeps going. and. Um, there were quite a few takes where I, I kind of went down to see if she's okay and she's lying on the floor absolutely in hysterics um, with laughter because this, this rubber brick had sort of bounced off her nose. But, um, yeah, that was a very funny moment. And the, and the horse poo as well was quite funny. So. So, yeah. <laughs> Working with Daniela, Sinead, Tim, uh, Brendan was obviously a phenomenal experience for me. Um, I th there's, there's the three characters that I realised um, contributed to the three quarters of Thornton's character was Margaret, Sinead, and uh, uh, Margaret, um, Hannah, and Higgins. Um, and working with um, those actors really gave me my character. And I think Brian created such a an easy working atmosphere and, a, and a, a good democracy with the cast and crew that everyone felt very um, liberated and uh, free um, and inspired on a daily basis so I made personally I made a lot of acting breakthroughs for myself because of Daniela, Sinead, Tim, Brendan um, and it's kind of redefined my uh, my needs as an actor, and my kind of goalposts have moved now. So um, I guess I'm going to judge 
everything according to, to what happened.